Hello, I'm Jay Ford, the beer review guy. I'm going to do a porter. Um, this is an, another one of the beers that uh, Terry at Spec Ops six, uh, 56 sent me. Um, this one here is one that I was very curious about because to my knowledge, or to my recollection, I've never done a porter that has that says chocolate peanut butter in it. And... It just sounds really good. Um, so this is called, uh, for Pete's sake, Imperial Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter uh, from Duclaw Brewing Company. It is a 9% ABV um, porter with natural flavors. Duclaw Brewing Company is out of Baltimore, Maryland. It says this full-bodied imperial porter is a mix of peanut butter and chocolate flavors. Fruit esters and coffee notes so heavenly you'll exclaim a new name for Pete's sake. Respect the fluid. All right. I let this set out for 45 minutes. Um, so before I get started, um, a young man by the name of Jake Johnson wanted me to shout him out. Hey, Jake Johnson, how you doing, man? All right. Shout out. I've got a little smoke coming out of there. This cap says, craft be cherished Rules be damned. Wow. Oh, wow. And Jake Johnson's, uh, um, his, uh, channel name or channel title is called, uh, Sad Boy Vibes. Cheer up. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, that's, that's really dark. Wow. That may be close to the darkest porter I've ever had. I don't know if there's anything in there. If there's any peanut butter settled down at the bottom of this bottle, I want to... I want to stir it around to get it, get it uh, loosened up. <laughs> wow, that that head is a finger, a finger width of head, and it's very chocolatey looking. I got. I'm gonna have to adjust my camera again, but I'm gonna, I want you to see how what this looks like. Very foamy, very frothy. This has a, a nice rich chocolate um, appearance. There. Um, so let's, let's move the board, out, the, the little sign out of the way. <clears throat> Oh yeah, getting chocolate, getting the peanut butter. <sighs> getting some, getting a little coffee. The chocolate may be kind of like a like a dark, like a dark chocolate. Mm. Has a light sweetness on the aroma. Wow. The appearance is, I mean, it's, yeah, it's black. I'm holding it up to 
I'm holding it up to the light and I can't, there's no light shining through it. So we've got some very used motor oil here. All right, we got, I got, I'm, get, I'm, just, I'm, I'm about to go crazy. I gotta go into this thing. Here we go. Wow. Wow, that is interesting. Um, <clears throat> the back end, the, the back end has a, uh, has a nice bitter coffee it's going into. Let me get another one on there. Let me see. Getting a, a chocolateness, chocolateiness on the front. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a baker's kind of kind of cocoa chocolate type thing. It's very very lightly sweet. The uh, yeah, the mouth feel of it um, when you first take the drink. What's settling in your mouth is a light chocolate sweetness. And then as you start to swallow and you, uh, and it's getting that palate area, then you get a bitterness. <clears throat> yeah, the sweetness is, is very light, but it's, it is still, has a decadent decadence about it. Um, it is a full body, um, nice full body on it. Um, yeah, um, a, a pretty good size of, of, of coffee bitterness on the back end, um, but it's good. It's a nice cold weather, <clears throat> excuse me, beer. Um, very light carbonation to it. You notice I haven't haven't mentioned something. That's a peanut butter. Um, the peanut butter is not not huge in this. It's not really standing out like I'd hoped it would. <clears throat> um, it's very it's very subtle. It's it's in it's right before you go into the coffee bitterness on the back end. It's 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 there, but. It's like a hit and, and miss kind of a kind of a thing. Um, it's like you're hitting the roastiness of the peanut butter, not the sweet part of it. Um, it's like the like the roasty peanut uh, peanuts kind of a kind of a taste, um, and then you go into the. Um, the roastiness kind of goes into the coffee bitterness, but it's a it's a very well made beer and very enjoyable. So uh, full body, yes. Um, mix of peanut butter and chocolate flavors, close. Fruit esters. I'm not getting any fruit esters myself. Getting coffee notes. Is it a heavenly beer? Um, it's uh. It's real close. It's real. Close. It's up in the clouds. It's hitting right there. It's kind of sitting in the clouds right there. It wants to go up there, but it's just, it's just not making it all. <laughs> but it's really, really good. It definitely is that. Definitely letting it sit out for forty-five minutes. Letting it get close to that room temperature. It helps a lot. Um, that the warm, the warmer temperature helps your palate find those flavors a lot better. Um, so yeah, that helped a lot. Okay. Well, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Terry, 
thank you again for sending me this. I've, I've enjoyed getting to experience it. Um, Jake Johnson, thanks for being uh, um, one of my subscribers and uh, um, appreciate all your comments that you've been giving good support. Um, yeah, all right. Well, uh, yeah, we will see you on the next one. Got some more of Terry's beers here, um, so we're not we're not done. Um, there'll be some other interesting ones. So there you go. All right, see you on the next one. Y'all be safe out there. I, I almost I almost crashed and died today. So it's the streets or the highways are everything. It's froze over, and it's pretty scary out there. Okay, see you on the next one.